All right, I'm getting very close to being done with the rebuild on the dozer. The little Perkins is in there. I do have a few issues that I'm going to address. Uh, here's some of the old parts, the old hood, air filter, fan off of that one because I put an electric fan. That's a spare electric fan that I was going to use. And I changed it up. A lot of extra parts. I haven't cleaned up my mess yet because I'm still working on it. <clears throat> um, I did put a little pinstriping on it. I still got to put a hood scoop on the top to keep rain and stuff from raining right down on the engine through the hydraulic cooler. I did have to replace the battery. My battery went bad, but it was like seven years old. I put dual fans on the front that blow out the front. They blow the air through the front. That was just kind of a, I don't know, neat thing to do, I guess. Make it look like a real dozer. A big one, I guess. Hydraulic pump, I had to have the, the stub shaft off of the engine, off the flywheel machined. Um, I did lose the lock pin on, on the pump side that holds the uh, little key way in and it flung the key way out the other day. So I have to address that. I need to retighten those bolts after I got done working on it. I still haven't tightened those. Um, all new levers. I put new controls on these levers and the way they work. And these are motor controls and they'll stay where you put them. The others always return to center. These stay. So therefore, I'm going to put a decelerator on it. On this side, because you run the engine full throttle. And when you go from forward to neutral to reverse, it's kind of, I don't know how else to explain it. It's kind of chunky. And it, it, you know, hits pretty hard sometimes. So I'm just gonna put a bypass in there that you can work with your foot and decelerate the hydraulics. <coughs> it will <coughs> shut down the hydraulics to the blade also. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. But, you know, you don't have to close it all the way, just slow the hydraulics down to like go from uh, forward to reverse. And I'm gonna put that on a foot pedal, just like a big, you know, cat d7 or something we have a cat d7 at work that has a nice decelerator on it i'm gonna do the same thing on this to make it look like a you know a big dozer a real dozer <clears throat> throttles all done i'm almost ready to take it out and play with it well actually i can play with it right now but um i'm getting there it's almost like a real one like i said I gotta put hinges on this. There's no hinges on it. Now I have to put hinges so I could lift it to check the oil because that's way in the heck down in there. Fuel tank, I can't put fuel in if I can't lift it. Check the water, the antifreeze in it, stuff like that. But there's your update. I am getting there. And I'm gonna put the hinges here. The hinges that I'm gonna use are these nice little gate hinges so i gotta put those on little tabs and do that so i will be done here pretty quick i will start pushing some dirt and i will uh give you a video of it pushing some dirt and i don't know we'll see it's either gonna be better or it's gonna be worse <laughs> 